Do you have sticky hips in your squat? I have one side that can be pretty sticky and painful, and this is what I do. Before I go to do my squat, I do hip airplanes. Now this is all about keeping the back and the pelvis totally neutral so there's no movement there. And we're actually getting movement in the hip joint in the hip socket, which is a lot lower than people expect. And we're gonna rotate just from one hip joint and get the full range of motion so that when we squat, it doesn't have to be painful. And that's the joint, I'm pointing at it right there. So the standing knee is bent and your weight is evenly distributed between three points on your foot or the tripod foot. So the weight is really centered right over the middle of your foot. This exercise, it is extremely easy to kind of lean forward, lean back, lean side to side to avoid the engagement in your butt. And you're not going to feel it if you're letting yourself roll around it. So get really centered and then you're going to Focus on the standing leg hip. So here it's my right hip and I'm letting it first internally rotate, which I just did, and then externally rotate where that left hip is now coming up towards the sky. And I'm gonna show you from a different angle too because it's a little hard to see this way, but I'm keeping my weight centered on the foot and just taking the standing leg hip through the most full range of motion that I can do. bringing the head back in line with the spine and just really focusing on that right butt. I shake almost every single time I do this. That's how I know I'm doing it right. These exercises are all about the effort that you can put in over and over again of having good awareness in your body. It's not like you do it one time and then you know. Like there I'm showing you at the top of almost every rep, I literally have to ask myself, am I centered on my foot? And then here I'm showing you from the front so that you can see a little bit more clearly. The, all of the emphasis is on the right hip. So the standing leg hip. And then I'm letting that opposite hip come up real nice and slow. The weight is staying centered on the standing leg. And then that other hip comes down as far as possible, even a little further than neutral. That's a lot of internal rotation on that right hip. Now I'm holding on to something because this isn't a balance exercise. This is a hip mobility exercise. And enjoy this super challenging, great squat warm up.